No school again today for tens of thousands of Portland students as teachers across the city remain on strike. Bargaining between the teachers union and the Portland Public School District is scheduled to continue this afternoon. And that is our top story here at 4 o'clock. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Brittany Folgers. The Portland teachers strike continued into its fifth day today. Our Alma McCarty joins us now with the latest. So Alma, so many people want to know, are we any closer today to a deal that would end this strike? Well, Brittany, both sides did meet today for mediation. And here's the good news. District officials tell me there was some progress between the district and the union about planning and prep time for teachers. They're close to an agreement on that point, but there are two other big issues, wages and class size caps. Both sides appear to still be far apart on those issues. As one school board member put it, negotiations are progressing slowly but surely. Tuesday morning at Atkinson Elementary in Southeast Portland, the Portland teacher strike continued for its fifth day. <laughs> Teachers joined by parents and students pledging their full support. I'm here because our teachers wear so many hats. They are doing all the things for the kids in the classroom and they're doing it without the kind of support that they need to be successful and for our kids to be successful. Our teachers are underpaid for skilled workers. We really don't want the teachers on strike because we really miss school. No, we want smaller class sizes. It's We also want the teachers to get paid more. The Oregon Education Association president agrees, saying students and educators need and deserve more. I can't speak to how long this might stretch out. I'm not at the bargaining table, but what it's going to take is people listening to what educators and parents and students are saying are really important and creating a deal that is one that meets those needs. The Portland Association of Teachers and Portland Public Schools resumed negotiations on Tuesday morning. The district's calling on the state to send in a facilitator to assist on Wednesday and Thursday says the current mediator has other mediation commitments over the next two days. At minimum, both sides will reconvene with that state-assigned mediator on Friday. We're working hard to get a settlement that's fair to teachers, that's within our fixed um, budget, but also um, ensures that our kids get back in school. Members of the school board, like Julia Brim Edwards, also remain at the table, hoping the district and teachers reach a deal as soon as possible. Um, I think slowly but surely would be good, but the, um, a good description. And I know there's a sense of urgency, again, by all parties. Um, we we want to reach a fair agreement. Um, and I know from talking to lots of teachers that um, they'd love to get back in their classrooms. Now again, PPS says that there is progress when it comes to prep time, but on issues of pay, issues of class sizes, the district and the union remain far apart at this time. The school board is meeting tonight and teachers plan to rally outside of that meeting starting at 5 p.m. We will have the latest through the evening and tonight on KGW News at 11. Brittany. Alma McCarty with the latest. Thank you so much, Alma.